Asterisk Asterisk Furiosa and Garfield struggle as Memorial Day weekend box office disappoints Asterisk Asterisk. This weekend's new releases, Furiosa and Garfield, are underperforming at the box office, leading to concerns. Furiosa, the latest installment in the Mad Max franchise, has generated only $10.5 million from previews up to Friday night. The film is expected to gross an additional $20 million over Saturday and Sunday. Meanwhile, Garfield has earned $8.4 million over its two-day opening, struggling to captivate family audiences as hoped. Despite the anticipation, both films seem to be following the lackluster trajectory of the recent release. If the overall box office performance hints at a historically low Memorial Day weekend, contributing to the disappointment is the absence of Hitman, which is not reporting any numbers as it's not playing in tears, leaving potential viewers at a loss. Roger Friedman, the author of this commentary, emphasizes the surprising availability of seats at theaters like the Paris Theater, suggesting that many people might be away for the weekend. Friedman's insights come from his extensive experience in the industry. He began his showbiz 411 column in April 2009 after a decade with Fox News, where he established the Fox 411 column. His movie reviews are featured on Rotten Tomatoes, and he is a member of both the movie and TV branches of the Critics' Choice Awards. Friedman's work has been published in numerous outlets, including New York Magazine, where he wrote the Intelligencer column in the mid-90s and covered significant events like the O.J. Simpson trial. His tenure at Fox News included coverage of major stories such as Michael Jackson's career. Additionally, he co-wrote and co-produced Only the Strong Survive, a documentary selected for the Cannes, Sundance, and Telluride Film Festivals, directed by D.A. Pennybaker and Chris Hedges. In summary, Furiosa and Garfield are not performing as expected, contributing to a potentially weak Memorial Day weekend for the box office. The absence of Hitman and the availability of theater seats highlight a broader trend of low audience turnout. Roger Friedman's industry expertise and historical context provide a comprehensive overview of the current box office landscape.